Okay, next ray diagram, object is anywhere in front of the mirror, that is a convex mirror. Okay, so the first thing that we are drawing is the principal axis. Okay, then we are going to draw the convex mirror. Okay, so this is our convex mirror which is drawn by keeping the protractor with 90 degrees line on the principal axis so that it is equal on both the sides above and below the principal axis. Okay, now this is our pole of the mirror. From the pole of the mirror on the right side, I'm going to mark at a distance 3 centimeters, that will be focus and another distance 3 centimeters that is going to be our center of curvature okay now I'm going to draw the object okay now this object is anywhere in front of the mirror okay so I'm just drawing the object like this okay this is placed anywhere in front of the mirror now the first ray okay this ray is parallel to the principal axis. All right, any ray parallel to the principal axis has to pass through the focus. So through the focus inside the mirror, you will show this line dotted and then the reflection will take place like this. Okay. Now the second ray that we are going to show over here is from the topmost point of the object passing through the center of curvature okay I'm going to show with a different color okay so this is the point which is extended passing through the center of curvature okay now we will just show the arrows direction of arrows in which these rays are traveling the gray colored ray the first ray that is parallel to the principal axis okay it has to pass through the focus and then it is reflected back through the mirror through this path. The second ray that is the yellow ray, okay, it is passing, it is traveling towards the center of curvature. So that is going to travel back by through the same path. Now you can see where both of these rays, that is the gray colored ray and the yellow colored rays are meeting. Okay, this is the point at which both of these rays are meeting. So this is going to be your position of the image okay this is the object I'll mark this as AB this is your image I'm going to mark this as A dash B dash okay now we'll talk about the characteristics of the image you can see the image is behind the mirror so its nature is virtual and erect you can see the size okay the size is smaller than the object okay so the size is going to be diminished and what is the position of the image the image is between the pole and the focus that is behind the mirror 